remembers the rule when multiplying decimals. If you don't remember, it's right there on the board. Rocco, what's the rule? The decimal stays in the same place. I mean, I'll line up the decimals. So, is that the rule when multiplying decimals that they stay in the same place? What's the rule when multiplying decimals? Remember, it's right behind us. Yes. You have to move it all the way to the right. Exactly. So you're going to line up the numbers all the way to the right. You're going to move the decimals however many places to the right. You're going to solve like a normal multiplication problem. And then you're going to put the decimals back that many places. For those of us who were absent or who weren't here, don't worry. This lesson is pretty simple. Thumbs up if you agree that it's pretty simple. Yeah, right? We got a lot of thumbs up. So. Let's look at this one. I want you guys to do this problem as a warm up, okay? So for your warm up today, in your spiral notebooks, write warm up nine four, and I want you guys to do it as the warm up. Okay, let's look at this problem, you guys. So first of all, oops, I don't wanna do that. So we line it up and we're gonna write it up and down, right? So I'm gonna write it as, Point zero five. So do we line up our decimal points when we're doing multiplication? No. no, we do not line up our decimal points. But let's see what we do. We count how far over our decimal points go. We count how far over. So we line it up and we don't care about lining up our decimals. But we do care about moving them over. The book likes to call it annexing. I don't like that word. So how many times do we move the decimal to the right in 3.6? Who knows? Raise their hand. Fernando. Once we move it over. Once. How many times do we move the decimal over in 0 0.05? Matthew. Twice. Twice. One, two. So how many total times did we move our decimal over, Lily? three times and I like to make a little note to remind myself then we just do the math as normal what is five times six what is five times six or Mario so what do I how do I write that how do I write that oh like do you know how I write it when five times six is 30 we excellent Excellent. Oleg is correct. Then, what is 5 times 3? Yes, Nathan. 15. And what do I have to do, though? Add the 3. So what does it become? 18. Excellent. Our answer is 180, right? No. No. What do we need to do? What do we need to do, Elsie? Yeah, we got to put the three decimal points back. So we have three decimal points. Our decimal point is here. We move it over. One, two, three. So what is our answer in the end? Hannah. It's what? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So you can say it with the number. I never do, but I write point. 18. You could also write point 18 with a zero at the end. Do the zeros matter? No. no, I could put as many zeros as I want. They do not matter. So exactly, if you write the zero, if you don't write the zero, that's totally okay. Let's look at our next example. So I'm gonna need you guys to focus. Ladies in the front. Let's look at our next example. So what about this problem? How do we do this problem? Is it pretty much the same way? Yeah. So let's line it up. Marcus. There's no Marcus. I'm being silly. Uh, Miles. How do we line this up? Do you know how we line this up? Yeah, you just write 0 and 112 hundredths, like mm -hmm. normal one, and then you just write 7 and 2 tenths under it. Perfect. Where do I write it under it? You have to put the 2 under the 2. Yes, look at how good he is. And he just joined our class, you guys. Excellent. And we put that 7.2. Excellent. 
So we line that up. Now we got to get rid of our decimal points. So how many times am I going to move the decimal points for 0 0.112? I want to raise the number of fingers. How many fingers? How many times are we moving it over? We're moving it over. One, two, three. What do you guys say? How many times are we moving it over? I see the majority of you saying three. And let's check. One, two, three. Yes. What about that 7.2? How many times do we move that over? One. And I'm sure that the people who had four up were counting the total. We moved it over four times. So then I want you guys to do this in your books. Okay, let's do this together now. Two times two. What is that, Madison? Four. Four. Two times one. What is that, Rafi? Two. Two times one again. What is that? Perfect. Now what do I have to do? Now what do I have to do, Nathan? We add our magic zero. Yes. Then, what's seven times two? What's seven times two when we raise our hands? What's seven times two miles? So what do we do? What do we do? Who knows what we do? Andrew, do you know what we do when we get an answer of 14? <laughs> so when we get an answer of 14, let's watch. We put the one over this, actually over the other one, over this and the four right here. That's how we're writing both parts of the 14, but we're doing it with regrouping. Next, we do what? Seven times one, Andrew? Seven, and we add that one that's up here. We add that, seven. And then again, what's seven times one? Elsie. Seven. So then we add these numbers together. Who can add them for me? What's four plus zero? We can say it as a class. This is super easy. What's four plus zero? Four. four. What's two plus four? Six. Six. What's two plus seven? Nine. And what's seven plus nothing? Seven. Excellent. Did I do it? Yeah. You didn't add seven. Would be in. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I totally did it and then didn't add it. You guys are so right. Look at you guys catching me on my errors. Woo! You guys are awesome. So watch what happens. What's two plus eight then? Ten. Ten. So we put. So I want you to watch this. When we get a ten, Andrew. When we get a ten for our answer. We put the zero here at the bottom and the one over the seven. And then what's seven plus one? Eight. Now is, now is my answer correct? Yes. Thank you guys for calling me no, out. But, correct. but, exactly. But Ben is also correct. Is my answer fully correct? No. What do I need to do? Rocco. We need to put the decimal back. And we put it back four places. So I'm gonna put it back. One, two, three, it's not working. Three, four. So my end answer is gonna be zero point eight zero six four. Everybody agree? Yeah. So I want you guys to practice with this one more problem. So we rewrote our problem up and down, and now we gotta bring over our decimal points. Raise your fingers up for how many decimal points we move over 0. 0.45. Oh, two. 0. 0.45. Two places, correct. One, two. Raise your fingers for how many places we move over the next one. Correct, three. One, two, three. Hey, you guys, what is two plus three, Andrew? Five. Yes. Okay. Let's do our multiplication now. I need quiet, please. I'd like you guys to start listening. Thank you. What is three times five? Roman. Perfect. So we put the five down there. 
and the one up here. What is three times four? Twelve. Perfect. But what do we need to do? Add the one. Add the one so it becomes thirteen. 13. What's three times zero? Zero. Plus, so it's three times zero, Elsie. But what do we have to do? So it's a one. Excellent. Now what do we do? What is my favorite thing, Rocco? No, we're not done yet. What do I need to do next? What do I need to do next? I've done the three times a five, three times a four, three times a zero. What do I do next, Elsie? We add our magic zero that Miss Diaz loves so much. Now, what's five times five? And I'm going to erase these ones at the top so we don't get confused. What's five times five? Do you know what it is, Andrew? Yes. We put our five down there and our two up here. What's five times four, Rafi? And we add that two so it becomes two. And we put our two here. What's five times zero? And we add that two, so what does it become? So now we need to add them together, correct? We need to add them together. So what happens when we add these together? What do we get? Let's bring this down. What's five plus zero? We can say this as a class because it's easy. Five plus zero. Three plus five. Eight. One plus two. Three. Two plus nothing. Two. Are we done yet? No. No. What do we need to do? What do we do? Yes. We do have to move the decimal back five times. Let's do that. Where does our decimal on this problem start? Andrew, where does the decimal on this problem start? After what number? Two. After the two right here? That's not where it starts, but that's a good guess. Where does it start? Let's see, Madison. After the five. After the five. If we don't have a decimal, it's always at the end. So let's move it over. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, there's no number there. What do I do? Nathan. Zero. Yes, we add a zero. So our answer becomes 0 0.02385. Woo, it's a small, small number, you guys. That is small. Okay. I want you to open your books to page 202 and pick three of the problems of A, B, C, D, E, or F. So, we're going to look over our problems now. For problem A, would anybody like to come solve it right over here? Here, Jaden, come here for me. Okay. What I'm doing is... Oh, that's okay. That's my fault. Okay. So, what you're doing... Um, what I'm doing is... I'm Behind seven. Excellent. So he moved the decimal over one, and then what? And then I moved this one over. Excellent. So how many times did you move the decimal over, Jaden? Uh, I moved it over once. Total. Twice. Two times in total. And then we're just gonna solve like normal. So, what's eight times seven? Mm -hmm. No, no, you're doing well. Do you want to erase the, the line? It's okay. That's five is good. And so it's, what's eight times seven? Eight times seven is 56. Yes, is 56. There you go. So let's watch this. Make sure everybody watches. I know it's a little tricky. Good job. Then what's eight times five? Eight times five is 40. Yeah. But what do we have to do? 
add the five. We have to add the five. Great job. I know it can be a little tricky. So we perfect. Great job. And then what do we need to add, Jaden? Uh, we need to add the decimals back. Not yet. We still have another thing to do. Oh, yeah. So we still have to, we have to add our zero. magic zero. And then we have to do the twos. Let's listen, you guys. What's two times seven? We're watching Jaden. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Awesome. And then what's two times five? Look at how awesome. And then we're gonna add these together. I kind we kind of ran out of room, so I'm gonna write it over here. We're gonna add these together. So as a class, what's six plus zero? Six. What's five plus four? Nine. What's four plus one? And what's one plus nothing? One. Perfect. And then, Jaden, what do we have to do? What are we going to do? We have to move our decimal, right? We move it over. One. Are we done there? How many times do we move it over? We move it over two times. So we move it over one. And then how many? So we move it over once, and then we move it over? Twice. Yes. Great job. Take your seat. Can I be the teacher? Maybe. So great job. So, what's the first step? What do we do? We multiply five and. Do we two. do that first? What do we do first? Decimals. Oh, decimals. Decim we move the decimals. We move the decimal. So we move that over twice for that one. And what about the top? One. So how many times do we move it over in total? Four. Awesome. Then we can start our multiplication. So we multiply five and two, and that gives us zero with a one on top here. Awesome. And we multiply five times one, which gives us five, and we add the one, which is six. And I don't like the silence. That you're being, you're being the teacher. And then we multiply five. We multiply five with four, and that gives us another zero mm -hmm. and a two. Perfect. Excellent. And that's. Are we done, guys? No. no. What do we have to do? We have to move the decimals back. Awesome, let's put the decimals Wait, back. I accidentally did this. What are you doing? I accidentally did this. That's okay, don't worry about the accidental. Okay. If, if you make an accident, just ignore it. Shh. Sorry, get the... Wait, what am I... Did you... It's okay. Just be careful. Two, three, four, boom. Excellent. So what is our end answer? Let's see. What is our end answer? Who can tell me? Hannah. One point? Two, zero, six. And I can leave off the zero if I want. I can add the zero if I want. I could add 20 zeros if I want. It don't matter. Thank you. Go sit down. I want you guys to notice something here. When I line this problem up, this is a little bit inconvenient. Notice how there's a four at the top and a 0 0.32 at the bottom. That's a little inconvenient. So I decided to rewrite that like that. That's not supposed to be E. That's supposed to still be D. I, got, I need you guys to focus. So, it's sometimes easier to rearrange how you line that up. 
in fact, do we want one more teacher, actually? I know we're going to have Ben come up. There is plenty of math all year long. I want to do a problem with the magic zero. You want to do a magic zero problem? Then go sit down. Who else wants to do a not magic zero problem? You know what? Let's have Lily come up. This is the problem that you volunteered for. So move your decimals. Do that. Let me put that little box there to help. Okay. So everybody watch as we do this problem. Narrate what you're doing. Um. So first you have to move the decimal. Wait. What is it? it just, just touch it. Just draw like a pen. Oh, okay. So you have to move the decimal. So we move it over twice, twice. for the first one. What about the second one? Uh, and then the second one, you have to move it twice. We move it twice. So how many times do we move it in total? Four. Ah, that's okay. You tapped forwards. That's okay. We move it over. I know. It's, it's a little inconvenient. Four times. Then we just do the math like normal. Um, so first you do the... So first you do four times two, and that's eight. And then you do four times three, and that's... That's 12. Awesome. And then what do we do? Um, and then you add the decimals. We put the decimals back. So we're going to put the decimals back. How many places? Four. 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 So we put it back. Andrew. So we put it back. Just tap. If you're... Hang on. I know everybody does that. Don't worry. So we put it back. Just drag like pencil. One, two, three, four. Oh no, there's no number there. What do we put? Hold on. What do we put? A zero. Yes, so our answer is point zero one two eight. Thank you. Here's what you guys are gonna do next. On page 204. Pick two of the problems from one through six and do number seven. If you finish, you can move on to your homework.